Hey guys, hi, welcome back. So before stepping into particle physics, we shall discuss about the types of interactions. And it's after then we will discuss about the particle physics part. And uh, types of interactions is a topic that we all have studied in our HS level. So here we will have in just an overview. And this is going to be a theory based um, lecture. And there is nothing that I will explain. It's just uh, some general points which we need to know before stepping into the particle physics. So let's start with the types of interactions. So we all know there are four fundamental types of interactions, right? So the first one is gravitational interaction. The first one is the gravitational interaction. All right. The second is electromagnetic interaction electromagnetic interaction the third is the strong interaction strong interaction and the last one is the weak interaction weak interaction all right so these are the four fundamental interaction gravitational interaction electromagnetic interaction strong interaction and weak interaction clear so the first interaction that we will be discussing is the gravitational interaction so when we are talking about the gravitational interaction we know what gravitational interactions they are attractive in nature right what is gravitation gravitation is the attraction between objects which is having mass or energy we can take an example for example a planet orbiting a star it is an example of gravitational interaction right so the first point that we will see is that Gravitational force is what attractive in nature. So we will write here attractive in nature. The second point is that it is a long range interaction, right? It is a long range interaction. We know F is equals to what? G capital M small m by R square. Here G it is the gravitational constant M1. A capital M and small m, these are the mass and R, it is the distance between the two objects. Clear? So if you see here in this formula for force, we can see that the gravitational interaction, it is independent of what? It is independent of the medium and the velocity. So the third point is what? It is independent of medium and velocity all right the third is that gravitational interaction they are weak interaction it is what it is a weak interaction it is a weak interaction all right the next point is that there is an exchange particle in each type of interaction so in case of gravitational interaction the exchange particles is called as graviton so what we will write here is exchange particle exchange particle it is graviton right the exchange particle is graviton and its spin is what spin which is denoted by s spin is 2 the mass is also 0 and if you see the velocity its velocity is equals to what the speed of light here c is representing the speed of light all right next is what the range of particle right range of particle it is proportional to what one by the mass of the exchange of particle so this is an important point to be noted that the range of particle all right range of particle it is proportional to one by mass of the exchange of particle all right Next, let's see the characteristic time. This is the last point, the characteristic time, which is denoted by tau and it is equal to 10 to the power 16 second. So this is all about the gravitational interaction. So we all know that the gravitational interaction, it is attractive in nature, right? It is a long range interaction. It is independent of medium and velocity. It is a weak interaction. Exchange particle, it's graviton. It's spin is 2, mass is 0, and the velocity is equal to the speed of light. 
the range of particle it is proportional to what one divided by the mass of the exchange of particle and the last point that we need to know is the characteristics time which is denoted by tau and it is equals to 10 to the power 6 second so here there is nothing to explain because these are a few points that you need to know so there is not going to be any explanations these are just direct points that you need to remember and if you want you can note it down or you can remember in just one slide you can take screenshots also if you wish so it's according to your convenience next we will discuss about the electromagnetic interaction so the next is the electromagnetic interaction so we all know that the electromagnetic interaction it is acting between two charged particles for example it can act between two negatively charged electrons or it can act between two positively charged protons right it can act between what negatively charged electrons or it can act between positively charged protons and the opposite charges they will attract each other and the like charges they will repel each other all right and the greater the charge the greater will be the force so electromagnetic interaction it might be attractive or it might be repulsive right it may be attractive and repulsive both so the first point that we will see is that it can be attractive or repulsive all right and it will depend on what you know the force if you see the force f it is equals to what q1 q2 by r square and k is equals to what 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught so here if you see that the electromagnetic interaction it is depending on the medium and the velocity of the particles right but it is not depending on the orientation so we will write here what we will write here independent of what it is independent of orientation but depends on the medium and velocity but depends on the medium and velocity all right and the characteristic time for electromagnetic interaction is what characteristic time which is denoted by tau it is equals to 10 to the power minus 16 to 10 to the power minus 20 second and the exchange particle here is a photon so we will write here exchange particle exchange particle is what photon so we know photon has what mass zero and the spin is one and its speed is what velocity is equals to the speed of light clear now you see here one more thing you have to see why it is depending on the what medium and velocity because if you see here this epsilon naught right this is for what this is for this is electric permittivity for vacuum but if there will be some different medium then there will be no epsilon here not here right in that case you will have some other parameter and this is the reason that it is depending on the medium and the velocity next we will see the strength of interaction all right the strength of interaction that is the strength of electromagnetic interaction it is measured by the fine stru structure constant which is denoted by alpha so we will write here strength of interaction is measured by fine structure constant fine structure constant and we know the fine structure constant it is denoted by alpha and alpha is equals to what e square by h cut c right and it is equals to 1 by 137 so this is the value so you can see here the electromagnetic interaction it is attractive or repulsive we know it is acting between two charged particles when we will have what like charges they will repel we will when we will have opposite charges then it will attract it is depending on the velocity and the medium but it is independent of the orientation characteristic time uh, time it is equals to 10 to the power 16 to 10 to the power minus 20 the exchange particle is photon whose mass is zero spin is one and its velocity is equals to speed of light 
and the strength of interaction it can be measured by using the fine structure constant which is denoted by alpha and alpha is equals to e square by h cut c and the value of this alpha it is equals to 1 by 137 so this is all about the electromagnetic interaction next we will discuss about weak interaction so weak interaction is the interaction which is a finite range, range interaction right weak interaction are finite range interaction so we will write here it is a finite range interaction and its range r all right it is equals to how much 10 to the power minus 17 to 10 to the power minus 18 meter the second is the characteristic time so the characteristic time for weak interaction is 10 to the power minus 10 second in case of weak interaction the exchange particles is what the exchange particles is we can say vector bosons right so here we will write exchange particle exchange particle is vector bosons so which is what w plus minus comma z0 all right and the spin is equals to what the spin is equals to one here the mass is not equals to zero these are the two important things and we already know the mass of what the mass for m w i write down here mass is not zero that means mass w plus minus it is approximately equals to 80 2 giga electron volt and if you are talking about mz0 then it is 92 giga electron volt now you see this weak interaction it is playing a vital role in the particle decay and it is involving what and this is a fundamental interaction between the leptons and the hadrons you can see and if you see the beta decay of the radioactive this nuclei and the decay of uh, some strong particles these are because these are typically what these are typically weak interactions the beta decay or you can say the decays of strong particles they are actually what they are actually weak interactions again you see one thing that if you have to see the strength strength of interaction right the strength of interaction it is given by what so we will write the strength of weak interaction okay the strength of interaction the strength of interaction it is given by it is given by gf square by it h cut c whole square here gf it is the weak interaction constant all right gf is the weak interaction constant all right and also you can note down one more point the velocity it is less than the speed of light this is one more point so we can see in case of wind interaction these are in these are finite range interaction and its range is 10 to the power minus 72 10 to the power minus 18 meter the characteristic time it is 10 to the power minus 10 second the exchange particles are vector bosons which is w plus minus and z0 so here the mass is written and the spin is one the velocity is less than the speed of light the strength of the interaction it is denoted by it is given by alpha w it is equals to gf square by h cut c here gf it is the weak interaction constant all right so this is all about the weak interaction next we will discuss about the strong interaction so let's see the strong interaction the fourth is the strong interaction so when we have started uh, the nuclear physics we have already studied about the strong interaction because nuclear forces right nuclear force are the strong interactions so firstly we will see that because of the strong interactions only the nucleons are hold together okay it is responsible for holding the nucleons together clear and it is strong force so it is a short range force we have already seen nuclear forces are what short range force so you have to remember that this strong interactions they are attractive at a normal distance right and it will become repulsive at sharp distances this is the first thing about the strong interaction the strong interaction since they are what short range forces right so its range it is finite range force you can say 
it is finite range interaction all right and its range is what it is in for me right we have already seen so it is 10 to the power 15 meter all right second is that strong interaction it is the strongest force in nature so the second is what it is the strongest force in nature the exchange particles in this case in case of strong interaction the exchange particles is what pi ions so we will write here exchange particles is pi ions so it is what pi plus minus comma pi zero and the spin spin for this is what zero all right and its velocity is less than the speed of light and the mass will be the mass of pi ions you can see the next is the characteristics time right so the characteristics time for this interaction is what characteristic time tau it is equals to 10 to the power minus 23 second all right and we have already seen the strong interactions they are charge independent so we will write here charge independent it is having the properties really same as that of the nuclear forces okay it is charge independent it is what it is spin and velocity dependent it is spin and velocity dependent and it is a non central force right it is a non central force the next we have seen what it has saturation property it has saturation property all right so this is all about what this is all about the strong interaction the first is what that uh, because of the strong interactions the nucleons are held together and it is a what it is a strong force right that means it is a short range force we already discussed in case of nuclear forces right so that this is all the properties of the nuclear forces that is what the first is what it is spin and velocity independent it is charge independent means what it can occur between proton and proton it can occur between neutron and neutron it can occur between neutron and proton also these are non central force it has saturation property it is what it is spin and velocity dependent the exchange particles is pi ions and it is a stronger force in nature finite range because we know it is in fermi range right nucleons interact in fermi range so it is a finite range interaction and the range is what 10 to the power 15 meter so that's all about the four types of interactions so you can just have a look to what are the features of the four types of interactions and then we will move ahead to the particle physics lectures so that's all in this video thank you so much have a good day